we'll start off a little early here tonight. Welcome back to Big Red ADC and welcome to Saturday Knife Live. I know I'm a little early, so <laughs> that might be a minute before somebody jumps in. Hey, there's Bunzo. Bunzo's on top of it. There it is. I'm in. What's up, buddy? How you doing? BJ was waiting. Lou was waiting. Zeb, what is up? Howdy, howdy, fellas. Grom, good evening. Good evening. I sounded like uh, Dracula there for some reason. I don't know what was up with that. I did my James Bond last, or I tried to do James Bond last week. I guess I tried to do Dracula this week. Ross, good evening. How you doing? What's everybody up to? Well, obviously, I know you're watching Saturday Night Live, but... Hey, good to see you, Joseph. Right on. Yes, sir. Yes, there is a Three Rivers on the table. Luke doing laundry? Right on. Hey, it's got to be done. Howdy, Rick. How you doing? All right, it's got to be done, though, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Hey, David, I'm glad you're here, David. Very glad. You might see something that belongs to you on the table. Put, Chad's putting a mirror air, mirror finish on, mirror edge on a shockwave. Cool. Son came home today. Oh, sweet. Okay. Well, that's cool. Son's home visiting. Visiting or staying? Ooh, moose tracks. There you go. That's good stuff. Watching all the pocket dumps. Yeah, that's been that's been going on this week, hasn't it? Last few days. Hey, Ethan. Welcome, Eric. How you doing? Are you working, Eric? Are you playing hooky from work? JD, what's up, my friend? Yeah, moose tracks is good stuff. I like that. Ah, tourist season. Gotcha, buddy. Gotcha, gotcha. Your bug out. Did you get the new one? Did you get a knife center bug out, Ross? <laughs> Here at work. Right on, buddy. Huckleberry. I never had Huckleberry. Uh, we what did we have at work? Somebody brought some to work one night. I think it was boysenberry. I think that's what it was. That was good. Scott, big boar, what's happening? Zach's here. Scott Raiders here. Okay, I'm gonna have to. All right, Scott, big boar. I'm gonna call you big boar, okay? Because I got Scott Raider in here too. So we'll just lay down some ground rules right now. <laughs> What's up, Jersey? Moose Tracks is good stuff. Yeah, they have, BJ. <laughs> They're going nuts with that. I've done two so far. I've been tagged twice. <laughs> Stuart's here. Sweet. Awesome. Menace is here. Good. Very good. Wow. A lot of people here. That's awesome. Appreciate it, guys. I always have fun hanging out with y'all. Always have fun hanging out. Oh, excuse me. Have to take a drink here. Nothing special. Just a little Coke Zero tonight. Hitting the hard stuff tonight, you know. You know how it is. Hey, Deuce. What's happening? Very good. Very good. Right on. Well, we got some people in the house now. We can start talking about cool stuff, huh? Right, I, I have to do this. I have to do this. And I'm just going to say, I'm sorry, Zach. I mean nothing by it. It's all in good fun. But look what I got today. I'm so stoked about this thing. It's a knife center battle worn bug out. This thing is nice. I love the black with the red highlights on it. Kind of that distressed look. 
with those red thumbs got the red thumb studs the red standoffs oh yeah deep carry clip boom i'm digging it oh i love it i love it big boar now <laughs> I was joking about this earlier, and that's why I, that's why I apologize to Zach. Is I told Zach today I won. I won life today, and I won life today because I have a bug out before Zach does. So I win. <laughs> I win at life. Whatever else happens from here on out in life, I win as of today. So I'm sorry, buddy. I had to do that. I mean nothing by it. It's just all in good fun. <laughs> I had to do it. <laughs> if I made you feel bad, I'll buy you a beer at Blade Show. I promise. But yeah, this is sweet, man. I'm I'm so stoked about this. And of course, Zach was the one that paid, you know, brought it to my attention. He's like, oh, looky here. I'm like, oh, thanks. Zach spent my money. So it's only right. Uh, that That's how I look at it. No, I did not lose the October no spending. I did not lose that, Rick, because it was on pre-order. I ordered it in September, so it was already paid for. Ha-ha! I did not lose. Pre-orders are good. <laughs> but you know what? You know what was also pretty cool? Is this came with it. Oh, yeah, there's always loopholes. It's a little, and I know it won't focus because it's really hard to read. It might, but it's a Klaus. It's a little Klaus sheep's foot knife. Cool little kitchen knife, man. And it's red, so that's cool. Yeah, how cool is that? You know, a little free knife. I mean, I'm digging it. Yeah, well, that happens, Zeb. Yes, they do. Yes, they do, BJ. Freebies. I, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Freebies kick ass. So, very cool. It does. Yeah, it, it, it really does. This is cool. Oh, man. I'm going to go with Night Cores. Um, I don't, man, buddy. Have you been on here before? I, I, Not a regular, but welcome. Glad to have you. Is it sharp? Well, I, don't know. I Honestly, well, it, cuts, it cut tape. I use it to cut a tape today. Yeah, I can... It could use some love. You know. It could use some love. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you decided to join us again. Always good to have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely got potential. I mean, you know, like I said, give the blade a little love and it'll be all good. So yeah, that bug out's been in my pocket all day. What you guys carrying? Show me. Let me hear what you got. Mini grip? Yeah, buddy. Frag S and G. Oh yeah, you were at the, the pumpkin patch. Ritter, Mark One, Super Freak. Hey, what's up, Peter? T1 and Bear Lake. There you go. Insta's here. Very good. Sack Adventurer. Recon 1 and Manly Wasp. Oh, we know I like the Wasp. <laughs> Grom doesn't carry in his jammies. Okay, that's cool. Going Gear Exclusive 940. Very good. And an Osborne. Yeah, yeah. Benchway Dog. Yeah. The Wraith. Very good. Very good. Mini Sheepdog. 
Ah, Three Rivers Atlas. That's cool. I got a Three Rivers on the table we'll be taking a look at. Riot Valhalla. K-Bar Dozier. Great knife. Shaman 4V. There you go. Bitch made 530. Ross has got a bug out. Riot Torrent. Yeah, I saw the picture of that earlier today, Peter. That looks sweet looking knife. Murdered out, bug out. Oh, I like how that sounds. Murdered out, bug out. M21, very cool. Ring knife, carried the ring knife yesterday. Right on. What, your eight year old just woke up to use the bathroom. She said, is that big red? <laughs> right on, <laughs> that's cool. Well, tell Haley I said hi back. Lou, right on. Very cool. Hey, it's a family show. Jesse brings his kids to watch the show. That's awesome, man. Everybody tell Haley hi. <laughs> Ashcan, what's happening, man? How you doing? Very cool. She's laughing? Well, good. See, everybody's telling her hi now. Right on. That's awesome. I'm just sitting here flipping this bug out. I'm sorry. I love this thing. Are you breaking it? <laughs> sorry, guys. Is that? I'm sorry. I, I suppose that's probably picking it up really well. My bad. I, w I didn't even realize I was doing it, honestly. And then I, I was like, oh, man, that's probably loud. Hey, pork fat. What's up, dude? How's Nebraska? Well, if you're asking about the football team, they won, but it was awfully damn or darn ugly. So, yeah. But, and as far as the state, I don't know for sure. I haven't talked to anybody back there yet. Oh, I talked to my brother yesterday. But, oh, yeah, definitely breaking this bug out in. We're going to get it. We're going to get it nice and slick. Oh, they always do, Rick. My God. After last week, that was horrible. I mean, good for them. <laughs> Not so good for us. <laughs> well, don't do that, Bunzo. <laughs> oh, you got the bug out? Or the... Ozark Trail and a 940. Okay. That's cool, buddy. Kicking it at home. Yeah, who wants to work? Working is no fun. Flipping the Put on some temptations. <laughs> All right. Good night, Haley. <laughs> cool. All right. I'm going to put the bug out back in my pocket so I don't drive y'all nuts with it. So, hey, is David still here? Blake Banner, are you still here, buddy? Oh, I bet, Rick. Yeah, for sure. I know there's no love there. James, what's up? Rodney's here. Very good. Outdoor gear review. Hey, how you doing? Glad to have you. All right, well, I don't know if David's still here, but I wanted to, I wanted to sh show this off for him real quick while I was here. So our good buddy David at Blade Banner, you've probably seen this around a couple of the channels. I'm getting my turn with it. But this is a 3D printout of David's knife that he designed. Our good friend Blade Banner. It's a nice 3D mock-up. That's the albino knife you were talking about. There he is. Cool. Right on. That's the albino knife you were asking about, Stuart. And he's had it going around some of the guys, just taking a look at it, seeing what's going on with it. 
So no, Zeb, you definitely can't baton this one. <laughs> it would it would not last. But I I've told him I've already talked with him about it a little bit. But dude, I'm really liking this design. I really like the handle, how it's you know how it's thin through the main grip and then widens out a bit, so you get a good purchase on it. Got a good forward finger choil, a good ramp there for the thumb. I think one of the things that came out of all this is kind of like rounding this area off a bit, which is cool. Uh, G10 handles and backspacer. Button lock. Button lock right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Button lock. It is. Yeah, this one is definitely drop shutty. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really digging the handle myself. I, I really like the shape of it. It widens up there towards the Ricasso area so you can get a nice good purchase on it. You know, normal grip for sure. But then it's got the nice finger choil to get up in there. No, this one definitely won't rust. Yeah, this one, yeah, this one doesn't cut. Whoops, sorry, it was too high. <laughs> that one won't hurt too bad. But put a bottle opener notch on. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think you got yourself a really nice design here, David. I really do. I mean, you've already got some feedback with some stuff. I mean, like this, you know, rounding that off. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, didn't you say you were making the finger toil just a little bigger? Is that what, if I remember correctly? I... Well, the edge angle on this one isn't much. Front toil increased by three millimeters. Okay. I mean, my fingers aren't overly big. And I have plenty of space on it, but I could see where somebody with a little bit bigger fingers, you know, would get. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Dual deployment, definitely. It is a flipper and thumb studs. Uh, I said G10 and G10 backspacer, 14C28N, which I am all about that. I am I'm all on board with the 14C28. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think uh he said he wanted to what'd you say David you wanted to keep it in that 60 to 70 dollar range where's my phone? I got you here, so I don't need to refer back to our conversation. But I think he, he wants to keep it in that 60 to 70 range, I believe. Um, Yeah, I mean, you're looking at probably that much out of the pocket, which is less than normal. So that's less than the normal half inch we see. They were probably, I mean, I mean, it'll be right about there. A little less, I think. Yeah, I really like that blade shape as well, for sure. You know, good, stout, pretty, you know, thick, wide blade. Uh, spring, I think you going spring or milled clip. David. Yeah, with 14C28, I think that 60 to $70 range is, that's pretty, that's good. I think that's a good range for that blade steel and materials. 60 to 75, okay. I think that's in there. Yeah. 
yeah, this is just a, it's, this is the first step, basically. This is the first step. So, very cool. Very cool. I had to show that off while you were here, buddy. Just in case you could answer any questions. And I don't know, did you say spring? Spring or milled clip? Titanium clip. So, milled, I'm guessing, obviously. So, let's see. Let's see, what's next? Well, let's do this one. Since Stuart's here, I think Stuart's still here. Stuart sent me this little guy. Looking to run no liners other than the pivot. Okay. Very good. Very good. And David's here, guys, so if you have more questions, just feel free to ask it. I'm just kind of talking about knives here, so no worries. Get all the info you need. Yes. Stuart sent me this little Coral Creek from Kershaw. Very cool little knife. I am digging it. Little lock back, sheep's foot blade. It's a smaller knife, but we all know that I like those. I like the smaller knife. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely strip some wires with that. Now, from what I remember from our conversation, it says he kind of cleaned up the sharpening choil a bit. And then he said the edge needed a little work, so he did a little magic to it and then sent it to me. So, yeah, I know, Dave. I did, My phone's over here blowing up, and I, I look at it, and I see it's you, and I wanted to take – I should have just said, hey, man, we're doing SKL. <laughs> but you found this. That's why I love the sheep's foot or pork fat. That's why I love a sheep's foot blade. I cut a lot of rope at work, and I, I mean, I'll use any blade. It doesn't matter, but a sheep's foot, I really like that for cutting rope. Yeah, I'd say it's okay. <laughs> I've had a couple knives that Stewart's put edges on. He does pretty good. <laughs> nah, it's all good, buddy. Was it real wavy? Right on. Oh, you got lag, buddy? Oh, that's a bummer. What do I do that involves a... I rig loads for the to hook up to a crane. So a lot of times we have to tie back loads and then connect them to the crane. So, you know, if you're doing like pipe and stuff like that, we have a big, a big box that we'll put pipe in and you have to tie it back to keep it secure. <laughs> Am I? Thanks, Todd. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm better than Swags. Oh, that's about the only thing I'm better at Swags at then. <laughs> but thank you very much, Stuart. That is very, it was very kind of you. And I thank you very much for doing that. Very, very good. Yeah, that is a good that is a good point. I saw your I saw your comment, uh, Zeb, and it's here. I know it's here somewhere. It's not on the table. 
I'll pull it out now. I'm sure she probably can better than me. I would. I suck at it. So, this showed up in the mail yesterday. It's a Cold Steel Pocket Bushman. And it, this one, this is the only knife I've ever had that's come with a warning label on it. Because I've had one before. These things are Christ sharp. Holy God. And it showed up in the mail. No, no note. Hey, Carlos, what's up, buddy? No note, no nothing. Uh, yeah, pocket might be definitely generous. I don't know where this knife came from. <laughs> I'll just admit it right now. I don't know. I, I do not recall a conversation about somebody saying they were sending me one. And I, I don't know. I'm extremely grateful. I would like to know who sent it so I could thank them. But yeah, this lock too. This lock is, it's a beast. God dang, I, ugh. I'm not quite coordinated enough to use it. <laughs> you have to be careful. You are pinched the hell out of yourself. I mean, no lie. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. You have to be careful because you have to pull back here. And if you have your hand, at, you will pinch yourself. Yeah, I should have brought the first aid kit up here. Oh, and this knife, this, I, the one I had, I mean, you didn't, I mean, you come that close to the blade and it'll cut you. I swear to God. I don't know. Let's test, let's test this one and see where it's at. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh yeah. God, these things are these things are crazy sharp. You do have to be careful with them. Yes, you do. I mean, obviously you should be careful with every knife, but this one you really have to be careful with. Cuz there are a couple ways that you will hurt yourself. So Yeah, I should just leave it open and leave it leave it as a fixed blade. Hey, what's up, buddy? You're all there? Hey, guys. Jackson, Kaya, how you doing? That is true, Ashcan. Yeah, I mean, cold steel's come sharp. I. That's very true. Hey, Mark, what's up? Glad to have you. So yeah, I'm gonna put this thing back in the box before I hurt myself. Really, I am, <laughs> and I'm not lying. <laughs> those things are—you got to be careful with those things. Woo. So, all right, what are we gonna lay? Take a look at now. Well, somebody already mentioned Three Rivers, so let's take a look at this guy. Ah, sorry, left-handed. But this is the Three Rivers Manufacturing Atom. Got some nice micarta handles on it. The one thing right now about this micarta is, I mean, they're kind of grippy, but at other times they're really slick. So these, this micarta definitely needs to be broken in. This is a pass around knife. So I love the blade on it. So, yeah, it's, I mean, 20 CV steel, nested liners, dual thumb studs. I mean, it's light. It's a light knife. 
Did I say my Carta? Did I not say my Carta? Hey, Bruhan, what's up? I thought I said my Carta. Did I not say my Carta? I mean, it's not too bad. It's just got to get. It's got to get a little bit of wear on it. That's not too bad. It's a brand. I mean, it's pretty much a brand new knife. So I thought. I thought I said my Carta. Yeah. Oh, let's see. I must try to. What is it? Try to see what this is behind the edge. I'm getting. I'm getting about point one eight behind the edge. Point. <coughs> Or oh, oh one eight. Sorry, oh one eight. I hope it was oh one eight. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh one eight, oh one nine. That's what it is behind the edge. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Not only did they have the micarta, but they all. Well, I probably should have brought those out. Oh, here they are. It's right here. Um, they also sent along some of the gray G10, the textured G10 scales to kind of check out and get a look at. So that's the kind of the G10. Yeah, I know, Dave. You know what I meant. There's some, that's got some pretty good... How much is it in grams? Well, I'll tell you, Eric, how much it is in grams. I'm going to tell you. You ask. I'm going to tell you. In grams, it is 80. What's up, 80? I don't have any of my work sharps up here, bud. I don't. The one I It's in my truck. I usually keep it in my truck. You think it needs more belly? I kind of like it. I like it the way it is. How much for a gram? <laughs> Whoa, okay. I know nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what that means. Another beautiful morning? Well, that's good. <laughs> Grom's hitting you up, man. Grom's making a deal with you. <laughs> But, you know, honestly, this Adam, and I don't know. I love this sticker. I absolutely love this sticker. How awesome is that? Come on. That's cool. I like the puppy sticker. All right. That's all right, buddy. It's all good. <laughs> I always say you never know what we'll end up talking about. Tocino? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Right on, Brown. Does Big Red have a dog or a cat? I have two dogs, actually. I have two dogs. I have a chocolate lab. And then we have a little uh, Chihuahua Dachshund. My lab is my boy. Well, it's not my sticker. That's a pass-around knife. So the sticker, I, I, I can't... I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to hijack the sticker. I want to. How's it smell? It's 
Smells okay. Tastes okay. Tycoon? Is it Tycoon? I, I don't know. I have I don't know. SMKW sticker? Uh, the first one went on my locker at work. That's the project right now. I'm trying to do a... How does it smell in grams? It, it smells okay. <laughs> my chocolate lab's name is Bo. Bo is the lab and Roxy is the dachshund. Chihuahua dachshund. Roxy doxy. Yeah, it was... I know. But Bo, that's my lab. He's my boy. I mean, Blue. Blue's my boy. You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy, Blue. Sorry. Do not smell or taste? Why not? Don't you taste your knives? Yeah, I think you did, Mark. <laughs> You guys don't, is that weird? You guys don't taste your knives? A Roddy named Taz, that's cool. <laughs> is he a devil? It does taste like happy. Yes, it does. But since we're talking about it, we'll take a look at it. There's the Martini of Finland. Condor Basic. Well, yeah, that's how you, you know, dogs pee on things. I lick things. That means I own it. I really like that rubberized handle. Whoa. Holy smokes. Look who's here. Holy cow. How you doing, brother? Jimmy Slash is in the house, guys. How you doing, man? Sweet. Awesome, brother. It's good to have you. It's good to see you, my friend. And just in case you don't know, Jimmy Slash was a was a huge, huge help to me getting my channel started. So I appreciate I appreciate everything he does for he's done for me, what he does for the community and it's awesome. Exactly. If you lick it, you own it. I, I, I'm setting somebody up. Come on. Knock it down, guys. No one? Oh. I set, I set it up. And nobody, nobody, nobody took it, nobody took advantage. <laughs> not touching it pork fat says no yeah jimmy's here everybody's distracted saying hi to jimmy that's cool that's all good there it is thank you very much mark thank you thank you i left it open <laughs> exactly wooden or woodland excuse me that's exactly exactly right so i think it's awesome that he does a lot of good stuff for people and i'm i'm very happy to have him join us tonight hey but you got it That is probably true, BJ. <laughs> yeah, well, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Oh, what else we got? Oh, this, man, I am, I am so looking forward to, I've been checking this one a little bit. But this one comes from Rick Hawk. 
Hey, what's up, Eric? Nice to see you, buddy. I know nothing. I, I know nothing about Kudaman knives. And he was like, well, you want to check one out? I was like, well, of course. It's a knife. I want to check it out. This is, yeah. I mean, at this point, I'm not 100% of the, on the blade steel. I don't know a whole lot about this knife yet. But my goodness, I'm really digging this right here. And you guys probably already know this. I don't know the answer to that question yet, Scott, or Big Boar. I'm sorry. It looks like horn. To me, it looks like horn. Because bone is usually a little more coarse, but it, to me, it looks like horn. And as I said, I... I apologize, guys. I, I don't know a whole lot about it right now. Um, but trust me, I'm going to get smart on it. That's got a wicked clip on it, man. Look at that clip. Taste it? Well, it's not mine, so I'm not going to taste this one. Yeah, it, it's, it does. It's, wow. I mean, you've got a pretty... Your ring knife? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I believe you guys are right. I'm I'm pretty sure it's buffalo horn. But like I said, I can't... I'm not going to sit here and say it is for sure because I, I honestly don't know. But, and if the camera would focus on it a little bit better. It's got some gorgeous color. I know it's... I'm blinding y'all. But it's an absolutely... Gorgeous, gorgeous knife. My goodness. Hollow, BJ. <laughs> yeah, it's hollow. I don't know if the... I don't know if we can get a good focus on it. Yeah, it's hollow. No, your lock is right here, Ethan. Right there. You push this up, and that disengages your lock. So that's your lock right there. If it'll focus. There you go. There's your lock. First time experiencing anything like this. But yeah, it's French style lock. It's a uh, Kudaman knives. I can't even begin to pronounce that name, and it's made in Spain. Let's see here. Focus. There you go. Malibdino. I'm reading it backwards, guys. Malibdino Vanadio. Does that look? Does that sound right? <laughs> oh, come on. Focus. Get it back. Come on. Get it back. God dang it. Get it back. Really? There it is. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. Zach's been here for a while. Oh, Cappy Lock. Okay. And it comes in this really cool, nice little pouch. Digging that. Very cool. Oh, what else we got out here? Oh, well, and Rick, I mean, Rick Hawk has been 
so, so generous to the channel. I mean, along with that, he did not donate to the channel. That is a loaner for me to just to check out. I have to send that back. But he did send this. CH Knives 3002. I didn't miss a whole lot, Zach. Did you see the... Or Zach. Gosh darn it. Sorry, Zeb. The Kuderman. Is that what it means? Molybdenum vanadium? I, like I said, pork fat, I, I don't know. I will be having a review on it. So I, I, I don't know. Like I said, I, I haven't had them very long and haven't had, really had a chance to check them out. So, but yeah, there's a 3002, a little blue and orange action. If you're a Florida Gators fan, that would work out pretty well. Yeah, it's a very, very bright blue. Zeb should like that. Well, skip out and come back in, Zeb. Well, yeah, uh, uh, case knives are chrome vanadium. But yeah, another, I mean, this, another nice knife donated. This one was donated by Rick. So, whoo, that was close. Where's that first aid kit? Another awesome knife donated by Rick. And then he also donated this. To the channel. It's the D191 Bravo. Yep. Eight CR thirteen MOV. Well, he donated it to the channel for giveaway, Mark, so you never know. Frame lock. G10's got pretty good grip. Pretty good grip on it. Good access to the liner, or to the frame, excuse me. Good access to the frame. It's jimped. What are we looking at here? Overall length, we're looking at one, two, three, four. Well, we'll go basically a five inch handle and a one, two, three, just shy of four inch blade. So we're looking at right, well, right about nine inch knife there. So let's see here. Grip length. In my hand, we're probably looking at what? Four inches in a grip. One, two, three, four. Oh, four and a quarter. I'll call it four and a quarter on the grip length. So good, decent sized grip. That should fit your hand, right, Stuart? Oh, that's cool. Right on, Dave. Oh, uh, the white knife? That's a prototype. Well, it's not It's not a prototype. That's the wrong word. It's a 3D mock-up. 
Hey, Aaron, what's happening? It's a 3D mock-up of a knife that Blade Banner has designed. Button lock knife, G10, handle, backspacer, 14C28 and blade. He's got it going around just to kind of get some. Oh, the Reich was 8CR, 8CR13. But I really, I really like what he's got going here. He's just got a, he's got a couple of little tweaks to do. But, yeah. It's, I'm digging it. I'm digging this one a lot. I don't know if I said button lock, but it's a button lock. Dual deployment, flipper, th dual thumb studs, milled titanium pocket clip. Yeah, he's got it going on. I think he's got himself a good one there. How's the action? Definitely drop Shetty. Yeah, that one's probably got about a 2 HRC if it's lucky. Uh-oh, what's called a baton? <laughs> I didn't see that before. Um, no, Lou, not that I know of. I do not believe he has a name for it yet. Very drop shetty. Oh, yeah, I made it fine, buddy. Oh, good. And let's see. The buck marksman action. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and of course, last but not least on the table, we have the Spider Co. Tenacious that came in the Smoky Mountain Knife Works box. This was the OC level, the higher level knife. If, if you got the OC level, you got this knife. I've never had a Tenacious before. So I thought that was pretty cool. No, I can't. I cannot Spidey flick this one. Well, I was just going to ask you guys. Personally, Lou, <clears throat> it's the first box that I've had that... I actually thought I would use everything in it. You weren't a fan? Me tenacity to own a tenacious. <laughs> oh, right on Zim. So, it, I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought the mug, the tumbler that was in there, it was personalized. I thought that was a nice touch. And that was in the lower level box. So, yeah, I for a, for a subscription box, yeah, it was well, a surprise factor. The one thing that did surprise me, and I said it on my video, is I would have I would have bet money that there would have been a Rough Rider knife in there. Seriously. If somebody would have asked me, if somebody would have said no way, I'd have put money that there would have been one. Am I disappointed that there wasn't? Not really. No. But I'm very surprised. I would have. I'd have lost money. You're very, you're very, no arguing there. Um, and maybe they did that on purpose, you know, which that's fine. But yeah, I was, I was pretty happy. 
Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that, Ethan. I did not. I didn't think about that. Yeah, because it said, what do I got it right here? What does it say? Warning, this box contains items that are known to cause extreme joy and euphoria. Please open with caution. Yeah? Yeah? Very true. You know, I didn't think about that aspect, but, you know, I guess. In today's world, you're, you're, unfortunately, it's kind of true. So... Did anybody else here get one? Did anyone here get the level, any level of the box? Well, that's that's true too, Brewhound. They don't matter. <laughs> yeah, right, right, Eric. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I know Jimmy got one, for sure. Yeah, but it's true. It's like Brewhound said, though. The people that steal packages are going to steal packages, no matter. <laughs> I am Dave. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I do, I'm doing it, and I don't even know I'm doing it. Yeah, I know Sean got one, but he's not here. I was just wondering if anybody, any of you guys got one. Sorry or not sorry? What are you not sorry about, Deuce? I didn't think I see, I saw anything that you needed to be sorry about. Yeah, you're, I mean, it's true, Bruhan. You're right. Well, it's funny you say that, Bunzo, because a bunch of us right now are in the... Just put on... <laughs> Sorry, Stuart. Um, a bunch of us are kind of in a no-spend no October. You got no-shave November. Well, we're kind of in a no-spend October kind of thing going on here. Me, Zach, Zeb... Sean, who already fit, who already lost, <laughs> he he lost. Like I, I think he made it three days. Yes, exactly, Jimmy. That's exactly why I'm doing it. I'm saving up for Blade Show West. So, so I know. Yeah, if you want a car, yeah, you gotta save some money, buddy. Yeah, I've been talking about that too, Rodney. I've been talking about selling a few. I I really need to. I really do. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, you're right, Rick. Oh, that's cool, Brew. Huh? You got it paid off. That's good. Yeah, we're kind of, and you're a free man. Good deal. That's awesome, buddy. Good on you. You love your tools. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, we're, I'm saving for Blade Show West. That's exactly what I'm doing. So, but, oh, looky there, it's about that time. It's time for me to start clearing off a spot in the middle of the table. We all know what that means. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I'm going to put this back in its nice little pouch because it's a very nice knife. And I don't want anything to happen to it. The Kudaman goes right there. Oh, and the one thing I did say, I forgot to say, is it looks like 
Blade Banner is going to be working with QSP on his on his knife from the sounds of it. So just want to make want to make sure I threw that out there. So if you want to force a patina on it, mustard will do it. Yeah. What's up, Cotton Patch? Yeah, if you want to... I mean, there's several... I, I, I've done it with mustard. I mean, it's, you know, it's one of the... To me, it's one of the simple ways of doing it, so... So, what are we going to give away tonight? Well, of course, we're going to give away some swag. We always do. So, there's some swag. There's some more swag. So, there we go. We got some swag. Oh, right on. Mora, cool. Um, yeah, it's a fairly simple way to do it to, for... And there's Lou, kindly donor. Yes, I have my Blade Show West tickets, Eddie. I definitely do. Lou, Long Island Knife Guy, was very kind enough to donate a sticker for our giveaway. So that goes in there. And, and that means you can play, buddy. And if you win, I'll just give it away next week. How's that sound? So, let's see. What else are we giving away? What else are we giving away? I got to give something away. Oh, I know what I'm going to give away. You know what? Rick Hawk. Rick Hawk donated this knife for giveaway. So, guess what? We're going to give it away. You'll get the Rake D191 Bravo. Hey, Robert. What's up? Yep. Rick donated it for giveaway. I have a box somewhere. <laughs> I had a box. Now I'm like Jimmy Slash. I got so much stuff up here, I'm losing it. Ah, oh, there it is. I got a box. There's a box. There's a box. Oh, you out, Menace? All right, man. You're sure more welcome to stay. Everybody can play. Oh, the blue-handled one? That is a CH-3002. That's what that is. D2 blade, G10 handles, G10 backspacer, liner lock. Very nice action on it. Good night, Menace. Thank you very much for joining us, buddy. So, there's probably a couple people right now that have no idea what we're getting ready to do. Hey, Balkan Knife, what's up? So, we're getting ready to do a giveaway, right? Well, the game we play is you have to guess a two-letter combination. Two-letter combination like AA, BB, ZZ. So, oh, you're not in for the blue, Eddie? Um, that's the game we're going to play. So, I have it written down right here. So, matter of fact, I'm going to close this up for now. 
So, two-letter combo. Now, if you recall, everything that was on the table tonight, the two-letter combination has something to do with one of the knives that was on the table. Okay? So, there's your hint. Once you see the start on the screen, start guessing, guys, okay? There you go. Guess away. And please put your caps locks on. Wow, that went fast there for a minute. Hold your guesses, hold your guesses. I have a winner. I have a winner. Hold your guesses, guys. Hold your guesses, guys. Yep, I have a winner. If you keep guessing, I got to go look back further. <laughs> so, hold on. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's all right, Wood. It's all right, Woodland. It's all right. All right, so let me go back. I saw the winner. The winner was the winning CC. CC for the Coral Creek. That's where I came up with it. So I'm going to go back. And I know I saw the one winner. I want to make sure I didn't miss one there because it really jumped there for a minute. And you guys can go back and look as well. Where'd it go? I know I saw it. There it is. There it is. I see Insta Knife Guy. CC. All right, we're going to do that for a minute. Because we got somebody out here trying to... Oh, did you miss it, Brewhound? Sorry, dude. My bad. Yeah, I had somebody going a little crazy there with their guesses. So I see Insta Knife Guy as the winner. Brewhound agrees with me. You guys agree? Well, my screen is the official screen, so and that was the only one I saw, so. So, well, very cool, buddy. So I tell you what, Insta, what I need you to do, email me your address, your shipping address, to bigrededc at gmail.com, okay? So if you can do that for me, I will package everything up for you, and I will get it off to you, all right, buddy? Well, it's there, Mark. Trust me. I had a weird... I deleted some messages that were coming in because they were from a person that I don't know exactly what was going on with it. So, But yes, Insta was definitely the one. Really? You can't see it either? Oh, it's there. It's there on my screen. Yep. Hang on. Yeah, I just took a picture of it, so if anybody wants to see the picture. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. If it'll focus. See right there? Insta Knife Guy. CC. It's right there. Just want to make sure you all see it.
It is the right D191. <laughs> so, no, it's all good. It's all good. I just want to make sure y'all see it, you know? You see what I see. Nothing to hide here. But, all right, guys. That usually wraps up our show. Always good to have you guys. Always good talking with you. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. Y'all are awesome. Oh, right now it says I got 40 people watching. That's pretty cool. Right on. Yeah, it's going to get to that time. So we're going to get out of here, guys. We're going to close it for tonight. <laughs> you're, you're a troublemaker, Eric. Hey, I hope you all have a great weekend. Eric, stay safe at work, buddy. You guys have a great weekend, a great week. Keep your eyes open. Lots more good stuff coming. I'll see y'all, guys. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> wow, I cannot type the word thanks right now. There you go. There it is. <laughs> Night, guys. Bye-bye.